For decades whispers have circulated about a successor to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. Aviation enthusiasts and defense analysts alike have been captivated by the idea of a plane that could travel at hypersonic speeds, surpassing even the Blackbird's impressive Mach 3.2 capability. Skepticism was high at first. The technological leaps required seemed insurmountable. Many believed such an aircraft would remain confined to the realm of science fiction. However, those whispers grew louder in 2013. Lockheed Martin, the company behind the Blackbird, publicly acknowledged the development of the SR-72. This aircraft was not merely a concept, it was a tangible project shrouded in secrecy but confirmed as a national priority. The world held its breath, the era of hypersonic flight was potentially at hand. The SR-72 promised to be more than just a faster Blackbird, it aimed to redefine the possibilities of aerial reconnaissance and strike capabilities. At the heart of this ambition was the goal of achieving hypersonic speed, Mach 5, and beyond. That meant traveling at five times the speed of sound, fast enough to cross continents in a matter of hours. The potential was staggering. The SR-72 represented a seismic shift in aviation technology. It beckoned a future where distance and time were almost meaningless for a powerful adversary. The world waited with bated breath. What would this new marvel of engineering look like? How would it perform? And most importantly, what would it mean for the future of warfare? Before we delve into the SR-72, we must first understand the legacy it seeks to inherit. The SR-71 Blackbird, with its sleek black titanium body, was more than just an aircraft. It was a statement of American ingenuity. It was a symbol of technological dominance at the height of the Cold War. First flown in 1964, the Blackbird was designed for one purpose, to outrun any threat. Its design was revolutionary for its time. The SR-71 utilized a unique combination of a streamlined fuselage, delta wings, and powerful turbojet engines. This potent mix allowed it to reach altitudes exceeding 80,000 feet, at that height, the Blackbird could literally outrun missiles. Its speed and altitude made it virtually untouchable. The Blackbird's capabilities were the stuff of legend. It could survey vast areas of enemy territory in a single flight. Its sophisticated sensor suite provided invaluable intelligence during the Cold War and beyond. The SR-71 became a vital asset for the United States shaping military strategy and foreign policy for decades. Piloting the Blackbird was no ordinary feat, it demanded a unique breed of aviator, one with nerves of steel and exceptional skill. The extreme conditions at high altitudes and supersonic speeds required specialized training and equipment, yet the pilots who flew the Blackbird spoke of the experience with reverence. It was the pinnacle of their profession, a testament to human courage and engineering brilliance. The SR-71 Blackbird left an indelible mark on aviation history. It set a standard for speed, altitude and reconnaissance capabilities that remained unmatched for generations. But time waits for no aircraft, not even a legend. In 1998, after decades of unparalleled service, the SR-71 Blackbird was officially retired. The decision was met with surprise and even sadness from some quarters. After all, the Blackbird remained the fastest, highest-flying aircraft ever built. Why retire such an icon? The answer was a complex mix of factors. The Cold War, which had fueled the Blackbird's development and deployment, was over. The threat landscape had changed. The rise of satellite technology and advanced surface-to-air missiles presented new challenges. While still formidable, the Blackbird was no longer invulnerable. Operating the SR-71 was also incredibly expensive. Its unique design and materials required specialized maintenance. Each flight was a logistical undertaking requiring dedicated support crews and infrastructure. As budgets tightened, the cost of keeping the Blackbird flying became increasingly difficult to justify. However, the retirement of the Blackbird left a void in intelligence-gathering capabilities. Satellites, while sophisticated, lacked the flexibility and responsiveness of a manned aircraft. They were predictable in their orbits, vulnerable to countermeasures and could not always provide the real-time data that was often critical in rapidly evolving situations. The need for a successor was evident. A new aircraft was needed, one that could match or exceed the Blackbird's capabilities while addressing the challenges of the modern battlefield. It had to be faster, stealthier, and more versatile than its predecessor. Enter the SR-72, a concept born from the ashes of a legend, a testament to the enduring human pursuit of pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The SR-72 was not simply envisioned as a faster SR-71, 
it was conceived as a revolutionary leap in aviation technology, a hypersonic marvel capable of reaching speeds that defied conventional thinking. But what exactly does hypersonic mean? And why is it so significant? Hypersonic speed is often defined as Mach 5 and above, or five times the speed of sound. To put that in perspective a passenger jet travels at around Mach 0.8. The SR-71, at its fastest, reached Mach 3.2. The SR-72 however was designed to operate in a realm where air resistance becomes an immense challenge, where the very air around the aircraft behaves differently. At hypersonic speeds, the friction between the aircraft and the air generates extreme heat. Temperatures can soar to thousands of degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt conventional aircraft materials. Overcoming this thermal barrier is one of the key challenges of hypersonic flight requiring innovative materials and design solutions. The potential advantages of hypersonic flight are vast. An aircraft traveling at Mach 5 or higher could cover immense distances in a fraction of the time it takes conventional aircraft. Imagine flying from New York to London in under an hour. This speed would revolutionize travel, logistics, and of course, military operations. In a military context, hypersonic aircraft would be incredibly difficult to detect and track. Their speed would give adversaries minimal time to react, rendering existing air defense systems largely ineffective. This capability would provide a decisive advantage in intelligence gathering, surveillance and potentially even strike missions. However, achieving hypersonic flight is an incredibly complex endeavor. It requires overcoming not only the thermal barrier, but also the challenges of propulsion, stability, and control at such extreme speeds. The SR-72 project represents a bold attempt to address these challenges and usher in a new era of aviation dominance. As we look to the horizon, the SR-72 stands as a beacon of future advancements in aviation technology. This aircraft is not just an innovation in speed, it is a harbinger of a new era in aerospace engineering and strategic military capabilities. The SR-72's potential missions are as ambitious as its design. From ultra-fast reconnaissance missions that gather crucial intelligence in a fraction of the time, to rapid global strike capabilities that neutralize threats before they become apparent, the SR-72 is envisioned as a game-changer. Its ability to reach any point on the globe within an hour opens up unprecedented strategic possibilities. Technological innovations play a crucial role in making these missions possible. One of the most groundbreaking advancements is the development of advanced propulsion systems. The SR-72 is expected to utilize a combined cycle engine, which integrates a traditional jet engine with a scramjet. This hybrid approach allows the aircraft to transition seamlessly from lower speeds to hypersonic velocities, overcoming the limitations of current propulsion technologies. Moreover, the materials used in the construction of the SR-72 are revolutionary. Engineers are exploring the use of advanced composites and heat-resistant alloys that can withstand the extreme temperatures generated at Mach 5 and beyond. These materials ensure the structural integrity of the aircraft and contribute to its stealth capabilities, making it nearly invisible to radar detection. In terms of strategic importance, the SR-72 represents a significant leap forward in maintaining air superiority. Its speed and stealth make it an unparalleled asset for intelligence gathering, providing real-time data that can influence critical decision-making processes. Additionally, its rapid response capabilities mean it could play a crucial role in preemptive defense strategies, neutralizing threats long before they reach their targets. The SR-72 is more than just an aircraft. It is a symbol of the relentless pursuit of progress and the human spirit's drive to push beyond the boundaries of what was once thought possible. As we stand on the cusp of this new era, the SR-72 promises to redefine the future of aviation and military strategy. The sky is no longer the limit, it is just the beginning.